I'm Rebecca from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Love and Sons, the Rowledge, which I've been testing now for two weeks. Check out our website for the full review. The link is in the description below. So let's dive in. Okay, so let's jump into this bag. So the main material on this pack is nylon and it's kind of got that, i sure if you can, that almost scratchy feeling. It's got quite a shiny kind of feel to it, um, like a, almost like a sheen, but um, it does mean that uh, the fluff and dust doesn't get stuck to it. So it always stays looking, you know, quite sharp, quite smart. Um, which is really nice to see. The other material on this is leather. So you'll see throughout this pack there, this front pocket, on the handle, um, on the zippers. So there are so, um, there is leather kind of throughout this pack as well. So just to note that. Now, this does offer a little bit of weather resistance. I, I did wear it in the rain. Um, and obviously I just ran from you know, a shop into my car and it was fine enough, it was wet inside and it was quite heavy rain, but the leather did mark slightly. You'll see on the Lone Sons website that there is some um, care instructions as well when it comes to like cleaning the bag and looking after it as there are with most packs. So that's just something to be aware of. Now there's a lot going on with this pack. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with the back part. So what I really like about this pack is that it's so customizable. Um, and I found that really handy for what I was using it for. And it is also just to note though, quite a heavy pack. I've stuffed in it already, but just when it's not filled, it is quite a bit of weight. So that's also something to be aware of. Now, this pack, you can use it using the top handle here that clips together. You can use this as a briefcase if you're going into a meeting and you don't want to carry a bag on your back or you want the straps tidier, you can carry it like this. However, um, if you flip it around, you can see there's a hideaway system here. So you can pull out your backpack straps and you have this clip here, um, which is quite unusual as well. You don't see that very often. Um, adjustable straps and the backpack straps and you've got a little leather keeper there and then on the side you can pull this out clip it on and you've got your backpack straps now because this bag when I had it packed to full capacity these shoulder straps were still quite comfortable now they are they do have a nice amount of padding in them and there's some slight webbing you can see along here and um, so this is going to give you a little bit of breathability but not overly if you're wearing this for long periods of time you can see this back panel has no breathability so that's another thing just to be aware of and if I just pull out this you can see there's a zipper across the top here and another zipper down here and you can use this as a pass-through sleeve if you have your um, on your suitcase if that's what you like to do and it's nice that it just tucks away tidily this bottom bit goes in as well at the bottom here, so that's nice and tidy. And yeah, you can swap it up between it. Like I said, if you're going to a business meeting or something like that, or you need to carry it around, you've got those options there. And then on the bottom, you've got, let me just turn that around so you can see it. These studs just to keep it off the ground, hopefully will protect that material a bit more when you're putting it on the ground, it should stop it getting scuffed. Um, I've not noticed anything so far, but that's just something to be aware of. Um, apart from there's a couple of watermarks on the leather and things like that. Okay, so like I said, there is a lot going on in this pack. I'm going to start off with this front compartment and I'll just show you here. You can fit a lot in here and this space is separate to the space inside your pack. You'll find with some quick access pockets, it's going to eat up that room inside your pack. This is almost separate. Um, if you're going to really fill it up, then it may, you know, of course, push into there. But you can fit loads of stuff in here. And I'll unzip that so that you can see. And you've got this kind of extra space right at the front. 
um, to zip it in and it's almost you what's really nice is that with a lot of quick access pockets you actually can just fit those small items in whereas in here I've really been able to pack this full with stuff that I need to grab really quickly these are just the daily essentials that I use but there's a lot going on in here um, so if I just take that out you can see that extra space here fold that back and what's nice throughout this pack as well there is lots of um, this grey kind of interior lining which does give you know some nice visibility inside the pack which is super handy in this one as well which I'll show you in a minute but you have this zipper here and um, for anything that you don't want to keep track of this is quite a big pocket I've just got a notebook in there at the moment that goes down to the bottom and then you've got pen holder two little sleeves and just this extra space in here you've also got a clip this side if you want to attach anything and then a super long key clip this side which you can detach but if, you know if you want that extra to be able to keep it in your bag and unlock the door at the same time that is an option there over on the top of the bag like I showed you we've got this handle if you want to carry your pack that way just this push button here and then here you've got another quick access pocket this is nice because I feel like you you can't really see what's going on and it's quite a big pocket in there um, you can fit the iPhone 11 in there um, but it does eat up some space on the inside which I'll show you when I open this up um, and then on the sides we have these water bottle pockets now these um, it has like a water resistant zipper here but I think it's also so that the zipper doesn't rub you know your clothes when you're wearing it if you're wearing a suit or something like that um, or anything really um, and it also just keeps it looking spots you almost forget these pockets are there but if you unzip them this is some elasticated a bit of material here you can fit a water bottle pocket in there but you do lose a bit of space you can see at the bottom so that may just start to eat into your pack a little bit so something else to be aware of and uh, what I really like about this pack as well is that it has a dedicated laptop laptop compartment and you can see that this has um, some water resistance on the zipper as well and then I've got my 13 inch laptop in there with a padded laptop sleeve as well um, which is nice I like to be able to use a sleeve as well and this has just got enough room it's a little tight but it fits which is really nice then let's take a look at this main compartment there is a lot going in here so make sure you're nice and comfortable so it opens up horseshoe style there and then what you've got is a kind of big bucket in the middle but there is a lot of extra organization so you've got these sleeves on the side here pen sleeves you've got a bigger sleeve here for documents or if you wanted to put you know a tablet or something like that in there then you've got this let me take that out so that you can see this big space here and if you look over on this side you have water bottle pockets inside I think that's really nice to be able to have the option to you know um, have them inside if you want to to keep it tidy keep it the look more streamlined and so you can pop those in there or anything that you just wanted to stand up doesn't have to be a water bottle pocket but it's a nice option that you have in there got my phone in there as well so what's this compartment as you can see nice visibility but what's interesting about this pack what I was saying earlier is how customizable it is so if you don't need any extra organization what you can do you can see these push buttons here you can undo those and you can also use this as an additional sleeve um, I would recommend doing that if you've got a lot of paperwork files or you just want to make the most of this space because when this sleeve is in here it's handy if you don't have a lot of items and you want to keep them nice and organized but it does take up a lot of space so you can kind of make use and these go all the way this is that pocket on the top here so you can imagine if that was really really full then that's going to take up this bit of space here um, so yeah you can unclip them they're all the way around so you can hide the, them away like keep this just use this compartment if you want however I'm gonna see if I can pull this out so you can remove this 
completely. Take that out and then what you've got in here is a, well, just a big bucket really that you can fill up with all your stuff. This is, um, I just, if I had a lot of stuff that I just wanted to chuck in, packing cubes, tech pouches, then that come in really handy. And then either side, you've got some nice big, um, oh sorry, just on this side, you've got, oh, that was the insert. You've got some nice zippered pockets on there. So yeah, if you've got kind of small items, things you want to keep track of, even if you don't have the insert in there, there's still a lot of organization going on, which is really, really nice. So also just one point before I finish off, um, you've got the logos on these zippers and a bit of branding on the front but what you can do is they offer different kind of color combinations so that you can pick you know if you want like a gold accent or different kind of shades things like that so they're all on the website and there's lots of different options that you can pick from so there you have it this is the low and sons rollage check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you Link down below. We'll see you in the next video.